What's going on YouTube? Today we're talking about two of the most highly anticipated cameras of 2023, especially if you're a Sony shooter. Number one is the Sony a7000. This is a rumored name. And then also we have the a7C2. So let's dive into some of these features in this video. Recently, Sony Alpha Rumors talked about five potential Sony cameras that could be coming out in 2023. But in today's video, we're just going to be talking about my two most excited ones. I like the lower end ones and try and push those cameras, see what they're capable of. So the Sony a7000 and the a7C2. Let's talk first about the a7000, that APS-C sensor. They're talking about the FX30 sensor being inside of that camera, which would just be insane. So a 26 megapixel sensor we would get with that and maybe a little better low light video performance. This camera would be a successor to the A6000 line and it might even be like the A6700 or A7000. Name doesn't really matter, but what does matter is that it still has a viewfinder and also a lot of people are looking for a mechanical shutter burst rate that is higher than the existing 11 frames per second in the A6400 and A6600. If you're enjoying this video, feel free to give it a like. It goes a really long way in helping my channel and let me know what you think about either the A7000 or A7C2, what features you wanna see in them in the comments below. Let's dive back in. One of the biggest issues with those cameras is slower buffer time for your memory cards. So hopefully in the upgraded A7000, it allows for faster memory cards so you can use that burst mode and not have slow buffer rates. A really cool thing about Sony is they like to update their newest cameras with their greatest technology. So we saw the release uh, recently of the Sony ZV E1 and the A7 R5 and we saw better tracking features. We saw some AI features included. That Sony ZV E1 had some cool like recomposing modes that if you wanted to film yourself. So that's kind of cool and those are likely to be included with the newer menus in that A7000. Typically because this is an APS-C line camera, it is a lower price point and I'm expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 1500 US dollars. Okay, the A7C2, perhaps the most highly anticipated Sony camera for 2023, at least from what I've been reading online. You gotta remember that the original A7C came out in 2020 at a price point of 1799, so 1800 US dollars. And I'm hoping that the A7C2 follows the same suit because I think it's a perfect price point for what was rumored for this camera. So what the rumors are saying right now is that this A7C2 is gonna be kind of what I'm shooting on right now, the A7 IV, like a baby A7 IV, with a worse viewfinder. And they say that unfortunately, the viewfinder from the A7C wasn't that great, but they might reuse that for the A7C2 that's what's currently rumored. A lot of people are really saddened by this, but at the end of the day, it will have a viewfinder, and I haven't been liking what Sony's been doing in so many of their previous releases, just omitting that viewfinder completely. So on the A7C2, it is likely to have one. Again, because it's released in 2023, Sony is bad at updating their old cameras, but really good at making sure that they have the newest features on their latest releases. So even at lower price points, we still get those same features. So we have AI tracking, we have newer menu systems and filming yourself features for creators, out of focus backgrounds, those kinds of things. Some of them to me are gimmicky, but I could see the A7C2 having them included. So the A7 IV is 2,500 US dollars and it's about a year and a half old now. So a baby A7 IV that's released in 2023 for let's say 1,800 US dollars, I honestly think that could be potentially a B cam that I pick up. Let me know what you think of both of these cameras and what features you'd like to see in them. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Maddie out, peace.